back to flatbed tonight. We are getting started. I can hear in the background, you're firing off a few, uh, you know, sample rounds before they get the fireworks going here in Greeley, Ontario. And we are joined by city councillor, uh, currently, yeah. and running for re-election, George DeRuz. George, welcome to the show. Thank you, Chris. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Well, you know what? It's, it's actually my pleasure to have you on. I, and I'm going to start by saying, and I'm not trying to blow smoke up your ass, but I'm really appreciative of all the work that you do. And I, and I really admire, you know, you're going to get my vote, and I'm going to tell you why, I, why you will. Because I admire how you have stood up on numerous occasions to this, the big city councillors who seem to sort of, you know, sort of bulldoze their way through things. And you've st stood back and said, no, enough. And, and I really admire that. You just you weren't sort of a pushover and just do everything. So I, I admire that. You're a man of principle. And, and you know what? That's what we need in, in government. Thank you. So now that's going to lead to my question. Yes. What's it like as a rural councillor in a city with so many urban, uh, you know, uh, constituents uh, to be able to run? Like, it must be more difficult. Well, it, it is, uh, in perspective, if you really want to put it, the rural vote on the city council, it's only for four votes. Yeah. And we live in a city that's uh, massive, like the city of Ottawa, and yeah. we have a unique and dynamic communities, right? Yeah. So you have suburb, you have urban, and then you have rural. Yeah. For us, is very our job is very hard because the problem is the issues that you have in the city and the city face it, it's not always relevant for us. Not at all. Exactly. So you have to balance all these issues. And as a rural councillor, I also have to build a network and communication with the other councillors to be able yeah. for me to achieve what I want to do for my residents. Right. So it's a very tough job. And it's not yeah. uh, not always, uh, uh, there is not always, uh, uh, you know, it's not harmony. always harmony. <laughs> and uh, I don't want to put a, like, a rosy picture on anything, but yeah. it's always difficult for us. Well, I've, and and. And as it should, because nothing worth having comes without a fight and Absolutely. without without hard work. And so, uh, let me ask you this: in in the now, I mean, you can't promise anything at this point because you're 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 running for re-election. But should you win and you move forward, what what's on your agenda as a platform or, or things to do for your constituents in the in the coming term? Uh, so originally from the get-go, my my uh, platform will never change. Uh, I know uh, my city councilor and my colleagues and even the mayor call me the king of asphalt. <laughs> and <laughs> and because, I love that. <laughs> well, you know what? Our road has been neglected since amalgamation. And uh, for you to sit at a city table, uh, at a city council on a table like that, you have to go through the grind and understand the issue and you know what you really need in your community. So infrastructure is yeah. biggest things in my platform. Yeah. And my other thing is in the rural community, I'm tired to seeing our communities being only bedroom community. That's right. So we need to kind of look at how is our official plan and are we really catering to our rural community to keep them sustainable? Yeah. And that's a challenge for me. And that's where we will be most, most of my concentration will be in the next term yeah. to making sure our OPA will match what our community needs. Well, and you know what? We have a great community uh, here. And, and uh, you know, Osgood, Man uh, Manatic, uh, we have, well, you're not Manatic actually, uh, well, but yeah, no. Osgood, you know, but Osgood and Greeley, what have you. And an important thing in, in part to supporting your community is supporting the businesses within those. It's out. Absolutely. Right? And, and I, you know, I know that the, the growth of the food land here, yeah. okay? I mean, it's a great story. It's small, but it's open 24 hours. It, it's, it's funny you mention it, Chris. Uh, when I moved in Greeley in 2003, uh, everybody knows in Greeley probably we were supposed to have Canadian Tire at the corner behind the animal hospital. Then there is another rumor happen and things happen. I actually met with the developer and I went to the bottom of it. I said, let's what you want to do in it. And we really worked in the last year and a half. We've yeah. been working very hard and I'm so happy to see, to tell the resident that shovel in the ground, you'll see food land built this year. Hopefully we'll have in, uh, uh, probably December or early next year. But we need to make sure to create a job creation for our community. Yeah. The Hard Rock Casino, it was a great uh, partnership. Yes. We're having another big development happening at the end of uh, Mitch Owens and Boundary. That's yeah. also going to give more job and opportunity. This yeah. job and economy will make our community actually vibrant. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, and you know what? If, if you can work very close to where you live, it helps build that community Absolutely. as well. And it, and it really cuts down on the commute time. Uh, and you need to know what your community needs. 
Yeah. You see, uh, in my last election, that we have nine nine thousand and six hundred home in Osgood Ward. I knocked on a each and every one of them, not even once, but some of them twice. Yeah. But you know that gave. Now, me were you selling uh, <laughs> anything like I was not selling, trying to get them to sign up for like natural gas or anything? <laughs> I was selling myself and my vote and yeah. their trust. Trust in our community is earned and it's not given, and that's what I want. I'm going to earn my trust yeah. of my community. Well, I think you know what? I think you've earned it in this past in this past. Uh, uh, term as counselor, you've done a very good job and you've worked hard and you've been honest about it. And I think that's the important thing. Now, that being said, would you take a strong bribe to pave my road? <laughs> I, I don't need bribe. I'll pave oh, okay. it for you. You just right. tell me where it is and I'll look at it. All right. Well, I, you know, I, actually, you're paving my road. Stage. Know. Well, <laughs> uh, by 2021, I'm, I'm hoping by 2021, 2022, every major road in Osgood Ward will be paved. I appreciate it. That would be, That's you know right. what, that would be great. And I, you know what I would lo love to see you guys do is make Mitch Owens a little wider so that you can have a truck if you, they're going to barrel down there or yeah. whatever. And I know the city doesn't think that, you know, that it's ne needed, but really you need to widen the road. You know what, uh, Mitch Owens, I know we're going to, by ne next year we're going to pave the rest of it yeah. all the way to Bank Street because we have to do some underground infrastructure this year. Okay. Always when you have road are paved ahead of time, you'll have challenge with the culvert and everything. Right. But we, what we need to do, we need to concentrate on Earl Armstrong. We built $52 yeah. million dollar bridge and that's supposed to take trucks off Manatec and Mitch Owens and to doesn't. help. Not yet, yeah. but that's what we need, the help of our provincial government. Right now we have conservative government, we can yeah. work with them, and they're really concentrating on infrastructure and our job right now to lobby and work with them to get this done. Oh, that's perfect. Well, uh, you know what? Thank you very Thank much. You. Good I, luck in the election. Thank you. You got my vote. I have to say